But this, I will correct them all. You stole it. Then you stole it. And then I stole it. It's called capitalism. Who stole it? That's a scene from the new movie Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Harrison Ford is back racing against time to retrieve a dial that could change the course of history. Is it any good? That's what we love to ask. Movie critic Gray Drake for her review. You are always so candid. Oh, oh my God. And this week I'm so excited. You are? Oh, my God. Okay, listen. <laughs> this movie is so long. It is like two and a half hours, but I think I caused irreparable damage to my kidneys. I did not get up for one second. Is that good? Really? Oh, my God. Harrison Ford is back with the hat and the jokes and the action. There's a scuba sequence. It's got Antonio Banderas, Phoebe Waller Bridge. Doing her Phoebe Waller Bridge thing, so all the things. Scuba sequence. Yeah, I know. No, right? right? <laughs> well, she had me at Harrison Ford first, oh, but that's and true. he's so good. Now the ending to this, I think, is pitch perfect. It's surprisingly polarizing. I think people might have gone in expecting a Spielberg film when it's actually a James Mangold film. Ah. Different vibe. It's subtle. But listen, this is an amazing Fourth of July movie. I thought it was hitting on all six cylinders. Now, your kids are going to think that two and a half hours is too long, but you yeah, will love it. If you're smart, you'll love it. I'm just kidding. If you're smart, <laughs> wow. Uh, speaking of 4th July, 4th of July, patriotic movies for the 4th, right, including Air Force One. Absolutely. Sticking with the Harrison Ford theme, don't forget that back in the 90s, he played a president who could fight. That's right. Yes. Uh huh. And he was fighting Gary Oldman. He was bump, like bumping up against the Russians when they take charge of his plane. This movie is oh, so good. He's so, it's so presidential. Good for our time. Yeah, it's, it's like, very uh, relevant still. I know. It's right. It keep, things keep cycling back. So this is hash still myth. Okay. Hidden Figure is also considered a patriotic movie. Definitely, right? because this is about the incredible ingenuity of Americans, specifically black women involved in the NASA program. Mm -hmm. Now, Amazing. a lot of people didn't know before this movie came out, myself included, that these women are responsible for getting astronauts into space. So you've got Octavia Spencer, Janelle Monet, Taraji P. Henson. You cannot ask for a better cast. And this is such a fantastic celebration of a great moment in American history. I love this And movie. maybe the most apropos one is called <laughs> Independence Day. Right? <laughs> Remember that? I mean, I actually have a news reporter uh, friend who was in that movie. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Amazing. It, it, it's a little on the nose title-wise, but you don't get any better <laughs> than this movie because, like, Will Smith punching an alien. Like, it, it, <laughs> it's that. I don't have to even go any further, right? I know. Well, you feel so good at the end of it, too. Oh. Like, America yes. on Independence Day. And don't forget the irony that this is directed by a German dude who's blowing up U.S. landmarks, and, oh. it's, and it's like, okay, I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. like, you've got ladies on top of buildings um. thinking the aliens are her friends, and then they explode her. It is so good. <laughs> is that your favorite part? <laughs> Great, you're amazing. <laughs> Um, and thank you for coming decked out in your red, white, and blue. U.S.A. <laughs> U.S.A. Woo! Thank you for being here. Oh, Appreciate it. God, I, I know I'm so excited. Just Happy Independence overly Day. Overly so, but, you know, let's hang in there, America, together. <laughs> we got this. <laughs>